Well, I think the current situation with the novel coronavirus just shows us how scary a world can be when we have a disease that we can't treat or prevent. Um, so when we talk about childhood vaccines, the whole concept is that we have vaccines that can prevent serious illnesses that can be harmful and even fatal for our children. And so we don't want to lose that opportunity to stay on top of those things that we have control over right now. One of the vaccines that's really on our radar are, is the measles vaccine. So we know that there have been more outbreaks of measles even here in the United States. And that is a, um, a potentially deadly illness that we want to prevent. So that's a vaccine, of course, we've had a lot of attention on for some time, but we don't want to get off track with the timing of that vaccine. I also think about pertussis. You know, that's another one that can be extremely harmful for our babies and our younger children. Um, and so making sure that we're staying on on top of that schedule for pertussis as well. You, my saying will always be all vaccines are important, but I definitely think about those two in particular right now. I explain to parents and families that the reason they're recommended at the time they're recommended is that that is the time that we get the most protection from them. You know, there is a time when maybe you're not going to do a polio vaccine anymore because that child is too old. Um, or maybe there's another concern that we can't administer that vaccine at that time. Um, so we want to really make sure we're following that schedule because that schedule is there for a reason.